Nothing else matters Nothing else counts I'm in the So thank you for accepting the call. You've been mentoring me from afar for, for years. Oh I got hit by a car two years ago. I flew in the air. I you got hit by a car? I got hit by a car two years ago. I, ro I flew in the air. I rolled on the ground. I don't know where I landed. Since then, I've had pain in my knee. I couldn't stand without pain. I couldn't do anything without pain. Yes. I spent over 1,000 pounds on physiotherapy, on going to the chiropractor. Nothing worked. It only helped it a little bit. Yes. As you, as you told us to lay hands, I thought, no, it can't be me. What? I said, no. Check yourself. Any pain? Look at this. Apostle, Apostle, you asked me to lay hands. I laid hands and I felt Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire on your knees. Holy Ghost fire. So now, there's no more weakness, only strength in my knee. Amen. Walk. Amen. No pain. Look at this. Let every heart of them fade away Don't get by a car And it stuck on the wardrobe. Oh my and God. my doctor said that on this left side where I hit my head, I lost my nerves. So it, it would take me a minimum of two years for all the nerves to come back to normal. That is if they would come back to work. So while we were singing and the trumpets were. <laughs> Whoa. Look at this. The power of God is still on yes. the lady. So, sir, when when the trumpets were actually yes. being played, she actually began to, she fell under the anointing and she can feel sensations now. You can feel sensations now. Yes. Look at this. There is nothing. You cannot believe There's no mountain You cannot move If you have said it Then you will do it You have a track record Of keeping your word You're not about to stop doing it hey. I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus, let the anointing of the Holy Ghost come upon you. Perfection now. Lady that you mentioned that's got multiple lumps on the left side. So I've I've had these lumps since 2011. They started on the right side and they spread to my to my left, to my right, and my groins. I've had to do a surgery on the right to remove the scar tissue. And so it's one of my prayer points that I put down. And when you mentioned it. And then you kept praying. But before you mentioned it, you said, God is saying, don't, don't say, is it going to dry up? Just keep your focus on Jesus. And I felt that was speaking to me. And so I just focused on Jesus. And then you mentioned the case. And you said, go and check. And this morning when I woke up in my hotel room, it was flared up as it normally is. And I've just checked and it looks like it's drying up. Stand amazed in your prayer. I stand amazed, I stand amazed in your presence. There is, there is no
suffered from fibroids. Now she's 38. She's been under some medication and a device. The device fell off last year and she began to bleed. She's been bleeding for several months, but tonight suddenly the bleeding stopped. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The bleeding stopped. I have, you should, so when the device came off, my bleeding was for seven days and my cycle became 14 days. I would bleed every 14 days for a whole week. Oh and I'd change my sanitary towels every two to three hours. Today, it's just been months. Give Jesus praise. Celebrate Jesus over Europe. You're watching a miracle right there. In the name of Jesus, you are free and free. She has a photo. Yes. It okay. Um, so let's see this. Yes, I have this uh, photo because I've been going through something hit me in my house. I live in the Netherlands. Can you see this? And I came all the way from Netherlands because... You came all the way from Netherlands? Yes, because I've been praying with you online for the past two years and I was going through so much affliction. Something hit me in the house. And since that day, my body started swelling. And my, something was biting me in my body like pepperish. I was itching on my body. So I came when I heard that you are here. Because I wanted to come to Koduna, but I was told that I'm not, I cannot be able to reach there. So when I came here yesterday, my leg was very swollen. I couldn't even walk. So after you prayed, after, when you started praying, my body started itching me. So my body was all bruised. So when we went back to the hotel, I, I couldn't sleep in the night, so my sisters prayed for me, and we slept after I showered. So this morning, I woke up, I could put on shoes, and now my leg is okay. Walk. I, saw, I saw you in the dream when you are carrying a Bible in my house like this, sitting on the floor. So that's why I came here. Did you see, did you see how swollen that leg? Walk, ma. Go ahead. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Come on, Manchester, are you giving Jesus praise? 